Hello everyone, in this video we are going to write cubic function or equation given a problem or a graph. Let's have a review on cubic function first. In the picture, you will see the shape of the parent graph of a cubic function, its parent equation, and the equation in graphing form. We are going to use these informations in the problems that we're going to have. Let's have this first example right here. What is the equation of a cubic graph that is a vertex of 5, negative 2, and passes through the point negative 3, 30? The first step that we're going to do is to determine the locator point and label this as HK and label the other point as XY, then plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for A. So let's label here S1, which stands for step 1. Again, the first part of this step is to determine the locator point. Locator point is the vertex. Again, vertex and locator point are just pretty much the same thing. So we are going to label the vertex or the locator point as HK. And then the other point that is given to us as XY. So this is going to be our XY. Now looking at the equation in graphing form for cubic function, which is Y is equal to A parentheses x minus h cubed plus k. We are going to plug these values into this equation right here. So our y is um, 30. So I'm going to write 30 here equals a. And then we have our x is negative 3. And then our h is 5. So there's going to be a minus 5. And then we have a, a cubed plus k, and our k is negative 2. So then we are going to uh, solve for a here. That's part of the first step. So that's going to be 30 is equal to a. This would come out negative 8 cubed minus 2. And then if we simplify the negative 8 cubed, this means negative 8 times negative 8 times negative 8. So this would come out 30 is equal to, that's going to be, again, negative 8 times negative 8 times negative 8 is negative 512a minus 2. So then we are supposed to solve for a in this step. So we're going to add 2 from both sides and plus 2 here. So this would come out 32, so we can cross this out. So this comes out 32 equals negative 512 a. So then from here, we can go ahead and um, solve for A. So again, that's 32 equals negative 512A. So we're dividing both sides by negative 512. Divide this by negative 512. So then we can cross this out. Our A is negative 1 over 16 because 32 goes to 32 one time. 32 goes to 512 16 times. So this is our A. Now the second step is to write the equation by plugging in A, H, and K only. A, H, and K only into the equation in graphing form. So pretty much we use this equation right here. So I'm just going to label this as step 2. So that's going to be y equals ax minus h cubed plus k. The only ones that we plug in would be a, h, and k. So then the final equation would be y is equal to our a is negative 1 over 16. x, our h is um, 5. So that's going to be a minus 5. And then cubed. And then the k is negative 2, so I'll just put a minus 2 right there. So this is our um, equation for this problem that we have right there. Now, if we want this in function form, you can have this as f of x equals negative 1 over 16x minus 5 cubed minus 2. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Step one is to determine the locator point and label this as HK and label the other point as XY. Then we plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for A. So in this problem that we have here, this is our vertex or the locator point. So this can be labeled as HK. And then this one right here is a point on the graph, which will be our XY. So part of the first step is to plug this into the uh, graphing form for 
a cubic function. So that's going to be uh, step one right here. So I'm just going to write the equation first. So that would be y equals a parentheses x minus h cubed plus k. We plug the values in. Our y is 9. I'm going to put 9 right here. We're supposed to solve for a. Our x is negative 3 minus our h is negative 1. And then that's a cubed. Our k is negative 7. So then we simplify this. That's going to be 9 equals a times, remember, if two negatives, we uh, switch it to plus and plus. So this would come out negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 cubed minus 7. So then negative 2 cubed means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 three times. So that would be a negative 8. So that's 9 equals negative 8a minus 7. So then we want to solve for a. That's part of step 1. So we add 7 from both sides plus 7. So then we can cross the 7 out. So we're left with 16 equals negative 8a. We want to solve for a. So then we go ahead and divide both sides by negative 8. Divide this by negative 8. So then our a is negative 2. The second step is to write the equation by plugging in a, h, and k only into the equation in graphing form. So I'm just going to label this as s2 here. So the graphing form of a cubic equation is y equals a parentheses x minus h cubed plus k. Again, remember in this step, we're supposed to plug in only a, h, and k. So in the problem that we have here, our a, the one that we solved in step one is negative two. And then we keep the x because we're only uh, plugging in a value for the h. Our h is a um, negative one. So that's going to be a minus negative one. And then that's cubed. And our k in this problem is negative 7. So I'm just going to write negative 7 right here. So then again, remember that this negatives and negatives will turn into a plus and plus. So that finally we can have an equation of y equals negative 2 x plus 1 cubed minus 7. And this is the graphing form for this uh, graph that we have right here. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So this problem is pretty similar to the ones that we did um, in the previous problem. But the catch here is that we're not given the points. We're not given the vertex and we're not given one of the points in the graph. So what are we going to do is we still have to um, go through the steps. It's pretty much the same step. Um, step one is to determine the locator point and label this as HK and label the other point as XY. Then plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for A. So in this problem that we have here, we can tell that our vertex is this point right here. So this is our vertex. And if we trace this up, that would be 5 and negative 4. So I'm just going to label this as 5 and negative 4. Now, this is again our HK since this is the vertex. Now we are going to trace the graph in such a way that we should be able to come up with the next point. So looking at this, I can tell that this is the other point that we can use so that we can solve for A. And this value that we have here is 7 and negative 2. So we can go ahead and write this as 7 and then negative 2. So then we're ready to move on to step one. So the um, graphing form of a cubic function is going to be um, y equals a parentheses x minus h cubed plus k. So then we are going to plug in the values. Again, this is our hk. This is the other point. So we can label this as xy. So we're now ready to plug this into the equation. Our y again in this problem is negative 2. So I'm going to plug this in. 
negative 2 equals a is missing that's the one that we're solving for our x is 7 so i'm gonna plug that in there 7 minus our h is 5 so i'm gonna write 5 right here that's cubed and our k is negative 4. so then from here we can simplify this this would be negative 2 equals a 7 minus 5 would be 2 cubed and then that's minus 4 so 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2 that would be 8 so negative 2 equals 8a minus 4 now we want to solve for a that's part of the uh, first step so we're gonna add 4 from both sides plus 4 here so this would give us 2 equals 8a and then we can cross this out because negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So then from here, we can solve for a by dividing 8 to both sides. Divide this by 8. So then we are left with our a is equal to 2 over 8. And we can reduce this to the lowest term. Remember that um, 2 goes to 2 1 time and 2 goes to um, 8 4 times. So pretty much our a is 1 fourth. So then we move on to the second step. Write the equation by plugging in a, h, and k only into the equation in graphing form. So I'm just going to label this as S2. So again, the equation is y equals a x minus h cubed plus k. Again, the one that we plug in would only be a, h, and k. So we have y is equal to our a is one fourth, and that would be x minus 5 that's gonna be cubed and this is minus 4 for the k so this is our equation in graphing form for this graph that we have right here did you get the same answer as this yeah! good perfect if you find this video helpful hit like and subscribe for more math videos see ya